Hello class, welcome to my discussion on telling the, the, telling the story of postbellum America. Um, today's discussion is going to be on Clara Barton, otherwise known as Angel of the Battlefield during the Civil War. She was also, uh, also known as Clarissa Harlow Barton when she was born um, on December 25th, 1821. Uh, in her early life, after she turned 18, she decided she wanted to be a teacher. Uh, so she got her teaching certificate at 18, and then shortly after that, decided to start a public school in New Jersey, Bordington, New Jersey. Um, however, after being passed over for principal um, and that position being given to a man, she moved to Washington. Um, the beginning of her life is pretty standard um, until the war, the Civil War broke out. And in Washington, she... Um, started seeing a whole bunch of her former students being brought in with wounds and she felt like she needed to help. So she joined the Civil War and became a nurse of some type where she could help feed and clothe and house wounded soldiers. Um, while she didn't have formal, form, she wasn't formally trained as a nurse, she did quickly learn how to help and assist in other ways. Um, during her time during the Civil War, she was at many of the famous battles um, and she worked in the field as well as on the outside. And many people did find her um, impressive with her ability to just jump in where needed. Um, after the Civil War was over, she started an organization um, to help families find uh, missing and missing soldiers. The organization uh, was the Office of Correspondence with Friends of the Missing Men of the U.S. Army. And over the next four years, she helped 22,000 families um, find missing or unaccounted for soldiers. Um, and during that time, she would do speaking arrangements so that in her own way was able to become independently wealthy through these speaking arrangements. Fast forward a few years after she became ill and needed to rest, her doctor recommended her going to England. Uh, and in England, uh, she visited um, Switzerland and joined force or helped with the Franco-Prussian War as well, helping with wounded soldiers. And during that time, she came across the International Red Cross and saw how much they were helping these soldiers during the war effort. So shortly after she returned home, she decided she wanted to become an affiliate for the Red Cross and make a Red Cross in America. However, there was a problem because they were not allowed to um, have the Red Cross affiliate in America due to the Geneva Convention. And until they were able to um, have the proper signatures um, to sign for the Geneva Con Convention, they were not allowed to um, have an, the Red Cross. Um, so after four years of struggling with the politicians and everything on March eight of March, 1882, uh, they finally were able to obtain the American signature and um, Barton would be the president of the American Red Cross, bringing that to America. Um, after that, uh, the Red Cross, the International Red Cross at that time was only speci specified for war efforts, um, but she quickly realized that many people not during wartime needed help. So she, along with several of her, her board members, decided to um, extend the Red Cross to have natural disasters like flooding. Um, and so she would continue this effort after years and years and years um, of being the president, she would eventually get kicked out of the Red Cross. Um, and then she would start the National First Aid Association of America. Uh, which, again, the Red Cross actually ended up um, absorbing. And uh, so she actually started two organizations that um, became very important, um, even now to this day, for us people that need help um, in natural disasters, um, especially recently what happened with the flooding um, in the South and in the North um, during Ida. So she was an entrepreneur. Um, and yes, she was independently wealthy, but there's not much said about her actual finances. Um, but she was able to use her skills of creativity to introduce new ways of helping people um, over the years of her time. And that who that's who Clara Barton was, um, the founder of Red Cross. Thank you.